Hello everyone. How are you? I hope you all done great. Today's lesson is Science subject for grade 3. Lesson 2. This tutorial prepared by Dawar Harami for Dr. Mustafa Zalmi Private Basic School. Vocabulary Mammal Bird Vocabulary Mammal Bird Mammals and birds Mammals In the investigation you learned that fur can help an animal stay warm. Animals that have fur or hair are called mammals. Horses, cows, goats and deer are all mammals. Mammals use lungs to breathe. Mammals that live in water, such as whales, come to the surface of the water to breathe the air they need. Most mammals give birth to live young. Before the kittens are born, the mother cat carries them inside her. After the kittens are born, they feed on milk made by their mother's body. When a mammal is born, it cannot care for itself. It must be sheltered and fed by its mother. The milk gives it what it needs to grow and stay healthy. Most mammals learn from their parents how to care for themselves and find food. In time a young mammal learns what it needs to know to live on its own. What are four traits mammals inherit? From their parents? They have fur or hair. Use lungs to breathe. Usually give birth to live young. Feed their young milk made by the mother's body. Types of mammals There are many types of mammals. Most of them have the four traits you read about. Some also have other traits, such as trunks, pouches, or wings. Mammals are often placed into groups based on traits they share. Some of these groups and their traits are shown on this page. Name three traits used to place mammals in groups. Trunks, pouches, and wings. Name three traits used to place mammals in groups. Trunks, pouches, and wings. This orangutan and other apes are mammals that can use their hands to grasp objects. This spiny echidna, an anteater, is a mammal, but it does not give birth to live young. It lays eggs. A koala is one of a few mammals that carry their young in a pouch. Whales are mammals that live in water. They have very little hair. This helps them glide easily through the water. Birds Birds are animals that have feathers, two legs, and wings. Most birds use their wings for flying. Some birds, such as penguins, cannot fly. Like mammals, birds have lungs for breathing air. Unlike most young mammals, young birds hatch from eggs. Feathers cover most of a bird's body. But not all feathers are the same. Some feathers help keep a bird warm. The wing feathers of many birds have a shape that helps them fly. What are five traits of birds? Birds have feathers. All birds have wings, but not all birds fly. Birds have beak. Laying eggs. Birds' shape helps them fly. Types of birds. Birds are grouped together because of traits they share. The most common traits used for grouping birds are beak shape and foot shape. Beak shape can be used to tell what kind of food a bird eats. For example, some birds have long beaks that help them catch fish and dig small animals from the mud. Foot shape can be used to tell where a bird lives. For example, wading birds have long toes that keep them from sinking into the mud. For some birds foot shape is also important in getting food. What can you tell about a bird from the shape of its beak or feet? I can tell about what kind of food a bird eats and where a bird lives.
What can you tell about a bird from the shape of its beak or feet? I can tell about what kind of food a bird eats and where a bird lives. Review Review 1. Name a mammal that lives in the water. How does it breathe? Mammals that live in water, such as whales, come to the surface of the water. To breathe. 2. How does the spiny echidna differ from most other mammals? It does not give birth, it lays eggs. 3. What two features of birds are most often used to classify them? Why? Beak shape, foot shape. Beak shape can tell about what kind of food a bird eats. And foot shape can tell about where a bird lives. 4. The bat can fly although it is a mammal. What traits make the bat a mammal and not a bird? They have hair, give birth instead of laying eggs. They feed on milk.